I have to say, printing in transparent resin is pretty cool and I'm quite liking it, but there is a bit of a disappointment with them. When I printed this, it was printed that way up and it had supports in here. Because when you clear away the supports, what you get is lots of little marks on the surface and that ruins the optical clarity. If you sand that off, then what you get is lots of scratches or lots of polishing. And I think I've come up with a handy way of getting that better. The first thing to do, of course, is to clean off the marks. And you clean off the marks with a trimming knife blade or a box cutter blade. And that actually does this really well. Just hold it in your hand and scrape it nice and level along the surface and it'll trim off the excess of the resin in kind of a powdery form. And you just do that until you've got it to be a nice shape. What you get when you've done that is this, which looks like a piece of frosted glass. And here's a little trick. All we actually do is take some more of your resin and a little bit of tissue. Open your resin, pour some on the tissue. There we go. And then wipe it on the surface. <laughs> that will fill all those little scratch marks. And now we put it back into the UV cure. Right, I was so impressed by that, that I created this thing, which is a Wollaston prism. Now, Wollaston prisms are actually using things called camera lucidors. What happens is the light comes in there, gets bounced from here to here, and then from there to exit there. And if you're looking at a piece of paper here, and you've got an image here, the image gets superimposed on the paper, and you can draw around it. So granted, that is not yet optical quality, so lenses and prisms are going to be not perfect. But for crystal clearness for a 3D print, I certainly thought that was a little trick worth sharing because you can't deny it. the results are awesome, hey? Eh? Now, are you, I've scraped it with a knife. You can sand it. It has a, a slightly diminished effect because um, knife scraping is what cabinet makers do when they want to give a beautiful finish to wood. And that blade scraping on this does the same thing. It doesn't leave as many scars, but perhaps two coats if you actually sand it. So you can sand it. I prefer the knife scraping bit. The extra coat of resin and the curing of it really brings out the transparency. I've never seen a 3D print that clear. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps people. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.